Today we are skipping the famous intro that we normally do at the start of the series in the pit lane. But nevertheless, the lights go out and we are underway in Spain in the Sauber Ferrari. As we now head down to Turn 1, I have been making some changes to my setups recently and the way I drive as we go up the inside of two cars including my teammate into Turn 1 and we get through Turn 2 safely. Oh no we don't, we've been hit into the barrier and we are now down into P8 as we lose traction coming back onto the circuit so now we are stoned at last because Albert Tatlock one is he joins lobbies but he never even gets on the way because you know he's, uh, he's fat anyway moving through turn number four we take a horrible line as it looks like they've been contact ahead into the infamous turn five oh, so now move on the exit we've got a McLaren ahead of us it looks to be very very slow as I momentarily get distracted now into turn 7 and 8 we get a run into turn 9 are we going to succeed in completing the move yes we do there's slight contact he's off into the gravel there's a Ferrari off the circuit and then we break into turn 10 and lock up slightly but we make the corner only just as Albert Tatlock 1 is disqualified for being fat and now we move through into the last sector of the lap with our teammate ahead of us and he runs wide on the exit and now we're gonna have him around the outside can we pull this off we're side by side through the chicane he's gone wide what a move by me and I have to say that was brilliant stuff and very fair for my teammate there as we are moving to the middle of the track to see if he's gonna haul our slipstream he is hauling our slipstream someone's gone off into the grass there and there's two cars ahead by the looks of it. There's a Williams ahead and a Marussia. Is that? We don't know. We're going to succeed in finding out very shortly, I presume, as we now head into Turn 4. We've pulled away from our teammate. And it looks like it's a Toro Rosso ahead of us instead. As we're nine tenths behind the Toro Rosso, moving into Turn 5. Don't know what nationality that is. Uh, I'm dumb. Uh, just leave me alone. And now heading into turn seven once again we only just miss him and now we're making slight contact he moves over on us up the inside into turn nine again and we've completed the move and he is on the prime tires i've no idea why but what what two moves up the inside into turn nine that's not not an overtaking place as we get a massive amount of oversteer coming out of turn 10 and then understeer through turn whatever turn this is 12 and then through the left hand of 13 and then into 14 and 15 I am guessing what corners these are but nevertheless on the pit straight again we've got Malcolm in front of us Silver Legend setting the fastest lap of the race a 120.0 we've done a 121 181 a lot of ones and nevertheless we are three and a half seconds behind Malcolm it looks to have made a mistake between turns one and two and then we are, he's gone wide through turn three and very wide. And we just take avoiding action at the downshift. Normally that's flat out, but I did not want to run into the back of him. And he is around our outside. We're going to leave him room just in case he decides to go up the inside. Likewise, going into turn five, he has a look, but doesn't complete the move. And now we are ahead. We are up into P4 despite being smacked off the road in the first corner. And now we cut turn seven we've got no one to overtake this time around as I look behind to see if he doesn't pull one of the moves that I managed to make into turn nine and look behind again to make sure he doesn't dive bomb us coming into turn ten but we've gone wide we've run wide into turn ten he's gonna have the position easily takes p4 back and now we're down into p5 so can we get it urged by my race engineer there but no we've run wide into turn into the last corner we've gone wide again into the chicane and it's all over Casey bomb takes the victory or Casey Lom rather takes the victory as Malikam does a little dance and shows off and that was a very exciting race I hope you enjoyed it thank you ever so much for watching and goodbye